ang tema ng mga episode nila. But anyway, let's start the review. Alright? Let's start the review. Akodama Drive Episode 2. Bloodshed is an understatement. When you watch this episode, talaga dumanak ang dugo sa episode na to. Woo! Okay. Dumanak ang dugo sa episode na to. Alright? We saw, we saw, we saw the doctor getting, getting her throat slit like that by one of the executioners. But she managed to, to stitch herself up in the end. Okay? Talk about self-medication! Tangi na, grabe yung doktor na to! Alright? Ninaslas na ang leg niya, okay? It was that deep. So deep that... Wow, okay? So much blood has spurted out of her neck. Okay, talagang... Talagang ginilitan siyang ganun. But, she's still alive. And she's already stitched up. She stitched herself up! Tangi na yan! She was conscious enough to stitch herself up. Eh? Grabe. Uh, Red Panda and Pajama, please compute for me. How much is 100 million yen in Philippine pesos? Eh? Uh, the current exchange rate yata is, I think, uh, sabihin natin at 1 yen is equal to 41 pesos. 1 yen is equal to 4.10 pesos. Pakicompute lang, okay? Do me a favor. Okay, I'll, I'll answer... I will answer your question in the chat app right after this review. Promise. Paki compute lang yun. All right. Paki compute lang. I really want to know. I really want to know. <clears throat> and now they have no oh? forty six point three million pesos. Putang ina palang na nalo ka na sa loto. And you and you just. Subdued the, the entire Kansai police. 46 million pesos each sila. Ilan sila? Anim. Grabe, ma, mapera, ang, mapera ang nasa likod ng operasyong ito. Now, Studio Piro has over-delivered, okay, in, in my opinion. Studio Piro has over-delivered with this anime and we're just two episodes in. We're just two episodes in. We are just two episodes in, mga ka lifestyle. They over delivered, okay? For the, for, uh, for a studio that's been known for, uh, well, they have been known for action, for action pack animes, okay? Naruto, uh, Naruto and Bleach. Bleach is my favorite, okay? Any Bleach fans here in the chat? Any Bleach fans here? Ako, I've been a, um, I've been a casual fan of Studio Piro since Saber Rider and the Star Shed is back in the 80s. Okay. Did I also mention that Studio Piro is also the studio of Voltron? Hmm? Anybody, any, anyone in the chat still remember Voltron? Um, its Japanese title is Beast King Go Lion. They're also responsible for that. And now, wow. Okay. They are not giving an inch with this anime. They, like I said, they over-delivered with Akodama Drive. And we're just two episodes in. And did you notice, did you notice mga ka lifestyle that each episode has been named after a, um, named after either a uh, classic action movie or TV series? This particular episode is entitled Reservoir Dogs. It's a classic and a classic action movie from I think from the 70s. Reservoir Dogs. And the one that was teasered is entitled Mission Impossible. How nostalgic can you get? Mission Impossible is one of my all-time favorite TV shows. Okay? I've been watching Mission Impossible since um since college, the Peter Graves era, not the Tom Cruise era, the Peter Graves era of Mission Impossible. I'm a big fan of that. And to have uh, the name of that show as the title of the next episode, wow. Thank you. 
Thank you for satisfying 47-year-old me, Studio Piro. <laughs> so, let's rate it. Ako Dama Drive, episode 2. Two. two thumbs up. And a big two. <laughs> two thumbs up and a big two. All right. <clears throat> It's the first time, first time since God of High School that I gave such a rating. But, well, Officially, it's only two thumbs up. Okay, it's the maximum. If I give you two thumbs up in a big toe, then it's a fucking good episode. Right? Um, it blew my mind. Okay? This episode actually blew my mind. Okay? With, all the, uh, with all the violence. Okay? Never have I seen this kind of violence since... Um, uh, na, notwithstanding the fall anime season. Na, but... Uh, Probably Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Golden Wind, the finale. Right? That one blew my mind as well. <clears throat> Now, anime animation wise, mind blowing. Okay? Studio Piero has improved over the years when it comes to animation. Akodama Drive capped it off. Akodama Drive topped them all. Okay? I don't care if you're a Naruto or Bleach fan, but I rarely, uh, I rarely review animes based on their graphics alone. But this one, I just gotta make an exception. The animation is fucking good, okay? God level good. God level good. Now, compare it to uh, to Demon Slayer, nah. This one's better. <laughs> this one, this thing's graphics is better. Okay? No wonder the key visual is red because Cutthroat's favorite color is red. Blood red. <laughs> siya yung nang lalaslas. Siya yung tiga, siya yung tiga gilid, tiga gilid ng, ano, ng grupo. That's why his name is Cutthroat. Grabe. Grabe yung episode na to. So, Wow, okay. If I were you guys, I would go over on the internet, YouTube, or even any anime database. Please, watch this anime. You won't get disappointed. So again, Akodama Drive, episode 2, a resounding two thumbs up. A blood-curdling two thumbs up. All right? A blood-curdling two thumbs up. Thumbs up. <clears throat> I start my morning reviewing this anime. Wow. I didn't get this. This this episode did not disappoint me. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Grabe. Higurashi 2020 episode 3. It just got creepier. Because Rena is slowly showing signs of her psychotic self. Okay, I have been getting uh, getting the creeps with when it comes to Rena. This has topped it off. Okay, nagtap off sa episode nato. What's with the yung yung binigay niyang Lucky Kichi? Ah, what was that all about? Okay. Isang sitling tanong lang naman yung KKG na paranoid na. Alright? And now, and now she's talking KKG. Nandun siya ngayon sa bahay niya mismo. Sa bahay ni KKG mismo. Alam niya na may kausap na pulis si KKG. Now, if that doesn't, uh, if that doesn't make, uh, If that's not the profile of a psychotic killer to you, I don't know what is. Okay? The fact that Reyna is around 11, 12 years old, nakakaisip siya ng ganito? O, ano yung unisamasan na yan? No! It's just her. It's just her. Yun ang hinala ako. Well, beginning of the episode, and, The light moments, but starting from the middle of it, 
it got creepier. <laughs> it got cringier. Okay? Grabe yun. I go, it, I, I don't know if you, if you guys seen the look on my face when I was watching this. When I was watching this episode. I hope you got, I hope you got wind of that. I hope you, I, I hope you, see, I hope you saw that. Okay? Talaga na creep out ako ng todo kay Rena sa episode na to. Alright? Especially during the final scene. <laughs> someone is, someone is looking at you while you're over the phone with someone. Putang ina! I don't care what age you are. Okay? Wala akong pake kung ano, kung ano idad mo. If you don't find that cringy, then you got the problem. You have a problem. Alright? Grabe. Overall, okay. It's a really creepy episode. Okay? It's a really creepy episode. And to think tanghaling tapat kong pinanood dito. Okay? It's now 11.35 a.m. At pinanood kong episode na to, na-creep out ako. Na-creep out ako. Okay? Kaya sinasabi ko sa inyo, mga ka-lifestyle, ayokong panoorin ng Higurashi. Ayokong, abut- ayokong, ayokong abutan ako ng gabi sa panonood ng anime na to. I do not want, I do not want to watch an episode of this anime uh, come nightfall. Ayoko. Ito, nakikreep out na ako, tanghalig tapat. <laughs> Grabe. I think it's one of the creepiest anime episodes I've ever seen. Okay. Sa tanda kong to bilang anime fan, right? I am telling you, it's one of the creepiest I have ever watched. <laughs> okay, Higurashi 2020 episode 3. Deserve. Two thumbs up. Okay? Two thumbs up ulit. Three straight episodes, two thumbs up ako parati. Talaga, wow. Alright? This episode absolutely creeped me out in the middle of the day. First anime episode to creep me out during the middle of the day. Kaya sabi ko sa inyo, ayoko panoorin ang Higurashi or any horror anime pag pagkagat na ng gabi. Alright? Gusto ko naman makatulog, gusto ko naman matulog na maayos. Alright? Gusto, gusto ko naman matulog na maayos. So again, Higurashi 2020 episode 3. A deserving two thumbs up. You know, um, Studio Pasione, uh, I think is outdoing what, what Studio Dean did for the original. I've seen visuals of the of the original anime already. It is creepy. Okay? It's disturbing. But this one, this this key visual you're seeing right here, nope. Front lang yan. You better watch this anime. Front lang itong key visual na to. I do not trust it. <laughs> do not trust it. You have to watch the reboot. Grabe. Whew. I'm standing on 1 million lives episode 3. First part of the episode uh, I, I thought that I thought that was uh, I thought the whole the whole episode the whole story of the episode would take off from here but a new character is introduced I forgot her name. I forgot, I, I, I forgot her name instantly. Okay. So, she becomes a fire wizard. Tapos, well, overall, hey, why did I please? So, overall, it's a rather confusing episode. It's a rather confusing episode. Because, well, um, there were uh, Yusuke was in one quest. The next thing is in another. But the um, the first one, the first one is he was in the 
first one he was in, yeah, that, that was funny. Okay, that was funny. That was funny. Then, all of a sudden, the latter part, uh, you develops this kind of uh, uh, kind of backstory for her. And I don't know. Uh, it's a rather uh, somewhat confusing episode. Uh, the action is there. Okay, I gotta give it that. The action is there, but I wasn't uh, wasn't totally satisfied. I wasn't totally satisfied with the uh, with the flow with the, with the flow of this episode's story. Right? Like they they jump they jump from quest to quest too quickly, right? I thought I counted three quests already in one episode okay? without no definite end to one. That was, yeah, that's my interpretation. I don't know about you guys. I don't know about you, Maka Lifestyle. But, yeah, overall, this is somewhat, uh, this episode somewhat confused me. Somewhat confused me. Story wise, okay? story wise. Humor and the action are there. I can't, I can't deny it that. I can't deny it that. So, I'm standing on a Million Lives episode 3. Give it like this. If it had a... Um, if it had a more... Uh, a more concrete story. A more... Con a more... Uh, a more uh, a more or a more concrete uh, what's called this script or a, a, a smoother flow of the story I might have given it at least a one at least a one thumb up but all right gave it this I wasn't uh, I wasn't I, I wasn't actually satisfied with the uh, with the with the flow of this episode's story. It's my rating. I repeat, I'm standing on a million lives episode three. Hindi ko ma, hindi ko maalis sa, hindi ko maalis sa anime na to na ane. Humor, it has good humor. Humor element is spot on, spot on. Action sequences, yeah. It's just the flow of the story. It jumped from one backstory to the next. When, when I least expected it. They should have uh, focused on just one backstory for this entire episode. Say, may papasok na ano eh? May papasok ng may pumasok ng bagong character eh? And with a backstory at that. So, kinda, we should have limited the episode to just that. Kinda, makilala naman natin ng mabuti yung bagong character. Sana ganun, 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 sana ganun yung ginawa nila. I don't know, I don't know what their, um, I don't know what the producers, what the producers were thinking. Okay. I don't know what the producers were thinking. So, King's Avatar Season 2 Episodes 4 and 5. Alright? Last time kasi, lumaktaw sila ng isang week. So, they took a week off. And just uh, this last week, they came up with back-to-back -back episodes again. They came back with back-to-back -back episodes again. So, Episodes 4 and 5. We're going to review them. I just, I just saw both episodes. And, well... I'm gonna give my review for both, right? King's Avatar is, is into this habit of getting, uh, not showing up one week, then having back-to-back -back episodes the next week. I kind of love it. <laughs> that way, every two weeks, may one hour, ep may, technically, we have one hour episodes to deal with. Okay, so, 
Yeshu is at his usual double dealing in both episodes, okay? Which is, which is rather fun to watch. But, I don't know, it got old in episode 4. Then it got exciting again in episode 5, okay? In episode 5, he meets this ninja. Maga, ang, alam mo, galing-galing yung pala baguhan. <laughs> Nakalata niyang baguhan eh, kasi scavenger lang eh. Yun din ang naging intent nila eh for, uh, for this particular city. Paano kakakusin na ng maraming items. But, in the final scene of episode 5, uh, his, uh, his female uh, his female sidekick loses all of her items. Pati yung yung, yung main weapon niya, parang kanyo na ganun. She loses that as well. Alright? In the, in the final scene, the Yeju console consoles her. Well, got lots of chances. Then it ended with him rolling up his sleeves like that. It's his way of saying, I'm getting serious now. <laughs> oh, para, para siyang na piss off dun eh sa nangyari sa kasama niya. It's about time to get serious. But overall, uh, both episodes, both episode stories were actually connected to each other. I guess uh, that was the producer's way of telling everybody na kaya kami nag-break, episodes 4 and 5 are connected. Technically, it's a one-hour episode. Alright? But it's actually two separate episodes with uh, all this. With uh, an intertwining storyline between them. Ganda eh. Okay. I don't know, due to the, uh, due to the fast talking of the dubbers I say Chinese eh. I don't know if, if that's Mandarin or Fukien pero for the way the way it sounds parang Mandarin siya so medyo mabilis medyo mabilis sa pagsasalita ng mga dubbers it got kind of boring for a, for one or two seconds lang okay? I gotta admit it got boring for one or two seconds in episode 4 and in episode 5, siguro, oh, one sequence lang. One sequence lang. But overall, um, both, are pretty, both are pretty decent episodes. Okay? Magkakabit yung, sto- magkakabit yung story eh. And yeah, I love, I love how Yeju um, does about his double dealing. <laughs> okay? Just to level up. Just to level up. Kaya nga, kaya nga, the king's avatar ang title ng anime na to. He is the king of glory. Yung, yung online game na uh, centerpiece ng anime na to. He is the king of this game. So, he's proven that once again in both episodes. So, due to, uh, due to Yeshu's double dealing again, King's Avatar Season 2, Episodes 4 and 5. One thumb up. One thumb up. Now, I'm sure you're, uh, you guys are asking, why didn't I give it the two thumbs up if, I am, if I'm that impressed with this double dealing? Yeah, eh. That was the only thing I was impressed in both episodes. Yung pagiging double dealer ni Yeshu. Alright? You can classify him as an, as an anti-hero Kasi because of his because of the way he because of his politicking and double dealing ways online all right just to advance the interests of the team he is building right alalahanin niyo sa episode 4 missionary alliance ang guild and taught every member of that guild how to play that is the that is the only reason why I gave both episodes the one thumb up. Kasi hindi nawala ang kumaga, the thing that complicates this complicates this anime storyline, okay? Yung pagiging double dealer at politiko ng lead character na si Yeju. Okay? Talagang si no case ng ng producers dito yung dininor ng lead character. Okay? He's a double-dealing, politicking badass. <laughs> badass geek. Okay? 
I don't know how. Uh, I don't know if this is uh, if this translate to translate to real life in online gaming these days. Because I've been I've been retired from online gaming since 2004. Okay. I've been retired from on. Believe it or not, retired na po ako sa online gaming since 2004. Okay, so I don't know how the how people uh, use politics right now. Double dealing, sales talk, right? but. I gotta hand it to the producers. Talagang, talagang, they showcase Jesus' demeanor here on how he operates online just to uh, just to advance the interests of his of the team that he's building. He sent me to go, to get back into the pro leagues. Tanda natin, right? As early as the latter part of season one, yun na talaga aim niya. He wants to he wants to build his own team. He wants to captain his own team. So, he's doing everything he can to advance their interests. So again, Kings Avatar Season 2, Episodes 4 and 5. One thumb up. Alright, Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's Episode 20. So it's, it's a rather heartwarming episode because... The duel involves uh, a mother, mother versus son, right? Si, si Mimi at si anak niya si Yoshio. Sila nag sila naglaban. Intense, okay? Despite being a, a mother, a mother versus son duel, intense. Okay? Yun na nagpakomplike. Yun na yun ang complication sa duel na yun. Eh. And well. Konami never fails to amaze me when it comes to its when it comes to the dual scenes. Dual scene is well scripted as usual. The um not much humor. Pero yung yung trap door sequence medyo na iba siya ngayon eh. May ano eh. May may sumalo. <laughs> may sumalo. May sumalo parang parang cushion. May sumalo eh. Dati wala eh. Alright. So not much in the humor parts kasi uh, na concentrate lahat sa ano eh. Na concentrate lahat sa dual scene. Si intense siya talaga eh. It's between mother and son. So, it's a bit heartwarming also. Kasi na realize din ni Yoshi ako ano yung ano yung, ano yung pangarap niya. He was able to write that essay with that duel as as his inspiration. And wow. Hayop yung ace niya ngayon ano. <laughs> Intimidating! Akala mo, galing sa, Mad, sa mga pelikula ni Mad Max eh. Grabe! And uh, Beast Warrior pala yon, Beast Warrior pala siya. So, I figured, if that were a real card, I hope it gets both an OCG and a Rush Duel print. Okay? Kung OCG print, nako. Mamamaya, pag na naman yung mga malalakas na Beast Warrior, uh, Beast Warrior archetypes like uh, Fire Fist, like uh, ba ba? Malakas sa Beast Warrior, uh, Zodiac. Zodiac is predominantly Beast Warrior, pati Fire Fist. Imagine kung gagawin kung gagawin OCG print ng konami ito. Bukod pa sa Rush Duel print, of course. Imagine if this were an OCG print. <laughs> yaring yare tayo. Okay. Yaring yare ang kalaban. If if you're able to if you're able to summon this. So, well, enough of the dual talk kasi. Ano ko naman karamihan sa inyo ay hindi player ng Yu-Gi-Oh, right? So, it's a heartwarming episode and not much humor. You know, you know, humor part eh, yung tinrap door na naman sila but this time from yung hangout nila sa taas ng sa rooftop ng Goha Elementary doon sila din Raptor that was the only humor part so Yu-Gi-Oh 7's episode 20 one thumb up lang all right one thumb up if it weren't for for both the dual scene and the trapdoor sequence baka mas mababang rating yung naibigay ko but one thumb up. One thumb up. Now, uh, 
Tinisyon ni next episode. Ang susunod na lalaban yata ay si, ano, eh, si, si Ramen Kid. Okay? I, I love calling him the Ramen Kid kasi yun ang specialty ng pagluluto niya. Yun yung, yun yung forte niya. Ang pagluto, pagluluto ng ramen. Alright? Si Ramen Kid. Uh, I, I, I wanna see how that duel unfolds. Okay? I wanna see how that duel... Uh, on that duel place. So... Yu-Gi-Oh! 7th episode 20. Punta map lang. Right? King's Raid, episode 3. Now, um, I didn't expect any, uh, I didn't expect any fight scenes here or, or politicking that's going on, but uh, due to the title, I was expecting a backstory. And it was a really good one, alright? It's a really good one that's, that is, uh, it's called this. 100 years in the making. Okay. Overall, it's a good episode. Back story wise, it's, it's a good episode. Right? So, uh, the flow, the story. Right. Okay, see. So, major that gets caught. Okay. Ah, okay. So, the back of my head, mother na. Ah, okay. So, kaya pala, dito na pinanganak si Castle. Tapos, yung Holy Sword, oh, okay, nawala rin pala si King Kyle. Hindi pala siya talaga namatay. Unti-unting, ina, unti-unti ko, unti-unti ko naintindihan ngayon yung uh, storyline ng King's Raid because of the backstory uh, that, was, uh, that was told in this episode. The way the backstory was delivered in this episode. Yeah. Kaya ko na eh. Ah, okay. So, I got, it made me do some oohs and ahs in the back of my head. Right? So, King's Raid Episode 3. Yeah. For a backstory episode, two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Hey, uh... A reluctant two thumbs up, right? Kasi, um, so title pa lang ng episode dun sa teaser, in the last episode, kasi nag-teaser yung mga yun. I, I now have a pretty good idea of what to expect in this episode. So, it didn't disappoint me. It did not disappoint me. Now, there are questions that have, we now have some new questions, or at least from my end. I see new questions arising. So, it made me think about that. So, backstory wise, it is a good it is a good episode. Kaya again, King's Raid episode 3. Two thumbs up. Remind you, it's a reluctant two thumbs up. Now, they have to uh, the producers now have to back this up with a really good one. Start name on the name. Start the adventure nila to seek out uh, King Kyle's uh, King Kyle's deadliest weapon with with the sun leading them. <clears throat> they're gonna face God knows who. Maraming gusto, maraming ni siguro gusto na kahaw sa espada niya, right? And a few of his father's friends are still alive to probably help him. Yeah. Makes me, uh, it's a good build-up. In the end, it's a good build-up for the next episode. Kaya, tino thumbs up ko. Okay. So, I'm excited. I'm excited about the next episode. Alright. Alright. Jujutsu Kaisen Episode 3 Wow <laughs> It gets creepier by the episode, okay? 
Yung, yung mga curse na nakakalaban nila. Okay. Creepier, the curses get creepier and more merciless. The story is going, the storyline is going smoothly. Okay. Maganda yung pacing niya. Especially during this episode. Okay. Maganda yung pacing. So, overall, it's a, it's one hell of an episode. It's one hell of an episode. So, umpisa pa lang kasi nag, nagkasama-sama na silang apat. Nag, nag-aangasan na. Nag-aangasan na sila Itadori tsaka yung girl. So, okay. The humor, the humor parts, kaya, it's make, it makes it one hell of an episode. Right? The humor parts, and of course, wow, the fight scenes. Grabe. Grabe yung, grabe yung patayan dito. Kaya ang kalaban nila, yung mga, mga first na the demons. Right? Although si Itadori, he, he's a curse himself. Kasi, dalawang, dalawang daliri na, dalawang daliri na nisuko na na, nakakain niya eh. Ang, ang nalunok niya. So, yun nga eh. <laughs> One hell of an episode. I really enjoyed watching it. I really enjoyed watching it. Even, even the short. Kasi may, may shorts, may shorts din sila eh. May short. So, let's rate it. Jujutsu Kaisen, episode 3. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <laughs> Grabe ang ganda ng Grabe ganda ng anime na to. 3 episodes in. 3 episodes in ang ganda na. Much like uh, much like it's uh, much like its predecessor, God of High School. Okay? God of High School kasi tsaka ito, isang animation studio, Mapa. Right? And yung fight scenes. Okay? Um if you remember God of High School last summer, halos ganun, halos ganun ang fight scenes dito. Pero this one is more, uh, more, uh, it's more basic kasi di mo nang kalaban nila, hindi kapwa-tao. Right? It's not, it's not as intricate as, it's not, it's not as intricate as the fight scenes in God of High School. Okay? Now, for those, uh, for those new to my new to my channel, I have reviewed God of High School the entire summer. So from pumunta kay sa Otako YouTube channel ko. Uh, look over the playlist episode reviews volume one. From digests, uh, and then digest eighteen na lang dito sa volume two. Okay, the first the first digest. Uh, I'll ko dun yung finale ng God of High School. You can, you, you can start from there. So that you'll get what I mean when it comes to comparing the fight scenes between that and Jujutsu Kaisen. Alright? So again, Jujutsu Kaisen Episode 3. Oh, oh my god, next episode. Oh my god, next episode. Ah, yup na yan. Okay. Before, before, before I lose it, okay? Before I lose it, Yasahime episode 3. Kita kita yung magpipinsan. Well, Toba gets bitten by the Hidokon, gets possessed. Okay, all the chupa chainers, but fight scenes, yeah, really good. Okay. Vintage Inuyasha. <laughs> Vintage Inuyasha. So, maganda yung ano eh. <clears throat> maganda yung naging flow ng story sa episode na to. And, uh, fight scenes, yup, again. Vintage Inuyasha. Vintage Inuyasha. Alright. And, uh, the revelations overall. Overall. It's a really good episode. Okay? It's a really good episode. Umaga, it's also a sign of things to come. Eh. Moroha is now serving as the uh, the mediator between the twins, or now. Kasi, 
Nilayas naman niya. Pampal nga ito ha. Parang, parang isang dugot naman ito eh. So, the story is... Uh, the story has unfolded... Uh, the story has twisted in a... Uh, in a different manner sa episode na to. Marami, medyo maraming revelations. Pero, it's not... Uh, it's not enough to overload your brain. Tama-tama lang. Hindi makukomprehend yung makukomprehend even ng mga ng mga casual yung mga casual anime fans. Okay? Those who well, especially those who only remembered Inuyasha. Okay? Not Yasha Hime kasi well, three episodes pa lang eh. Okay? Three episodes nakaka three episodes pa lang ang Yasha Hime. So yeah, it's a good uh, it's a really good episode. It's a really good episode. And oh, talaga binibo ko sa fight scenes. Talagang kung lumaban silang tatlo Vintage Inuyasha and Seshumaru. Talagang bawa ko. <laughs> bawa ko. It just parang nabuhay uli yung ano eh. Nabuh- nabuhay uli yung magkapatid na yun. Inuyasha at si Seshumaru. So overall, wow. Yashahime episode 3. The first two thumbs up for this anime. The first two thumbs up. Yeah, it's the first two thumbs No. I actually gave episode one. Uh, yeah, parang two, two thumbs up din ako sa episode din. Pero, <clears throat> for, for this particular episode, yeah, two thumbs up talaga ako. Uh, up. This episode is a nice setup for the next one. The, the situation eh. you You guys see my reaction to that? Hindi so, ko na sasabihin. <laughs> Baka ma-spoiler kayo eh. Baka ma-spoiler kayo. So, again, Yashahime episode 3, two thumbs up. Okay. Two thumbs up. Wow. I just can't wait for the next episode. Na-teaser na eh. So, pero I, I'm not going to spoil you guys. I'm not gonna give you spoilers right now. Basta panoorin nyo na lang episode 4. Kasi tiniser na. And, wow. Okay. Kudos to the producers for episode 3. Talagang, it's slowly setting, slowly setting up for, for the next episode. Tsaka maganda yung, ano, maganda yung mga naging revelations dito eh. So much as not to overload your brain. Alright? So, kaya, two thumbs up ulit for, for this episode. Alright. Um, Warlord of the Secret Diva episode 3. Uh, sort of a sort of a reality check episode for especially for Claudia. They've been guarding this uh, this comrade of theirs na napuruhan yung mata. Critical condition. Kinumfort ng dalawang Valkyries ni Yakots ni Claudia. Nasa namatay. Hineli pa nga eh. Hineli pa nga ni Claudia. Wow. She's got a really good voice. Um, that actually made me sleepy, right? Talagang lalaba yung dating sa akin, right? I was I was already going going like this. Nung habang kinakanta ni Claudia yon, I was gumagano na ulo ko. Alas gumagano na ulo ko. Wow, I was taken by that scene. I was literally taken by that scene. Uh, overall, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a really good episode. Really good episode. Uh, the slice of life, uh, the slice of life thing, they got it covered here. They got it covered in this episode. So. Yeah. It's a Sigurd uh, Dripa. Sigurd Dripa type of slice of life. Like um, on on its own. Well, maybe one, maybe I can call it a standalone episode, right? It's an episode I would uh, I would love to recommend to uh, guys who are into shonen. Guys who are into shonen. If I want them to watch this anime, I would rec- I would the first episode I would recommend is this one, episode three. Okay, ganda siya. 
siya. So overall, yeah. Overall, again, it's a uh, it's a really good episode. Really good episode. Uh, of course, there is a death scene. Nga, namatay yung kasama nila na, na unang napuruhan ng, ng pillar. Unang nadali. Namatay rin. All they did was comfort him until he, until he quietly passes away. Medyo bigat sa loob. Medyo mabigat sa loob, but uh, the lullaby scene, nadala ko doon. Talagang nadala ko doon. Laki ko ba? Talagang inantok ako. Kasi it's a lullaby. It's a lullaby. So, Warlords of Secret Dream Episode 3. thumbs up. Mainly because of the lullaby scene. Right? Talaga. Nadala ko doon. Nadala ko. Nadala ko talaga doon. And, well, I don't know what they featured in the next episode. Medyo hindi ko nag-guess yung teaser eh. Pero, I am, whether, whether that's a good episode or not, I'm going to I'm going to look forward to watching it next week. Alright. So again, Warlord of Secret Drifa Episode 3. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Ooh. <laughs> More Yard of the Patriot Episode 2. This is some... Uh, origin episode okay? the backstories that uh, that involve the Moriarty brothers okay? or so we thought so meron nagpapakita rin siya ng ano eh kung gano siya gano siya asama right it's I could compare this episode to uh, anybody remember the movie The Omen hmm okay I remember that movie so well through this episode. Bata rin ang involved dun. Uh, bata who is the son of Satan. Right? William is slowly showing signs that he is also a son of Satan. Alright? He's already given hints of how evil he can be. Ma Mapabagsak lang ang nobility. Ganda. Okay. Overall, it's a uh, it's a really good episode. Okay. It's a really good episode. Medyo medyo creepy ng konte pero it's not as creepy as Sigurashi. All right, I can tolerate it. I can tolerate this kind of creepiness. All right. So, Moriarty the Patriot episode two. Thumbs up. A uh, an unlikely two thumbs up. Actually, right. Um, maganda yung pagkakaportray ng backstory ni Henry Dre. Childhood ng magkakapatid. Or so we thought. Okay? Or so we thought. Na turi sila magkakapatid. Was well, uh, was well, was well told. Right? Maganda yung pagkakakwento. So, be, based on that, that was my rating. So again, Moriarty the Patriot Episode 2. Two thumbs up. Can't wait for the next episode. I want to see how uh, how this uh, how the backstory behind the Moriarty brothers uh, will uh, will play out in the next episode, especially the coming one. All right. Um, Ikebukuro Westgate Park, episode three. What can I say about this episode? It's another. Um, uh, what's it called this? It's another day at the office for the G boys.
Um, well, it's been a wild week for me. More particularly, a wild um, 48 hours for me. Because um, it was the first time I've ever reviewed 12 animes in, uh, in more than 24 hours. It's the first time I reviewed the entire roster for one digest. So, uh, and putting together this digest now is uh, it's quite a challenge right now because uh, I don't know if my if my laptop mic will will ever work again. Still figuring out, still figuring it out why, but we'll somehow get it through. We'll somehow get it through. So uh, I'm not going to. Uh, tell you what uh, what next week has in store for us but I assure you there won't be any new uh, new enemies to be added right the number stays at 12 okay so Samaka Lifestyle thank you for sticking it out with me uh, and all through all throughout for this for this YouTube channel and for my Twitch channel. So if you haven't, uh, follow me on Twitch. Right here. Right? There's my username. And don't forget to hit that face over there to subscribe and check out the uh, check out the latest videos or playlists. Again, thank you, Maka Lifestyle, for uh watching this digest this far and i'll see you again on the next digest